I have some bad news, Storm fans. There's zero copies of the Storm mechanic in this deck, and actually, this deck is the opposite of Storm. We are playing a, a card that honestly really, really upsets me, Mindbreak Trap. But before we get into that, I am Brent Cook, and today we're playing Painter Servant Combo. The deck list in front of you, Callum Smith, aka Cloud Goat Ranger, took first place in a Legacy Challenge with when a perfect 10-0 throughout the event just crushed the entire event and we're going to run that list today this was an alex mckinley idea for me to play so alex i hope you're happy you got what you wanted so the idea behind this deck is you're looking to really combine two cards painter servant which is a two mana artifact creature it's a one three when it enters the battlefield you choose a color this is not a trigger it's just something that happens all color all cards in all zones are that color it's just how it works so you combine that with the card Grindstone. You activate it for three mana. Target player mills the top two cards of their library. If they share a color, repeat this process. Well, if everything in all zones are all colors, Painter Servant makes your opponent deck themselves. Pretty sweet. Well, if that was the case, why would we only run two copies of Grindstone? Wouldn't we want four and four? Well, there's been some cards in the recent years that have changed that, primarily Urza Saga. So when Urza Saga gets to chapter three, you get to search your library for a card that costs zero mana, well, zero generic mana, or one generic mana. So you're able to just search up Grindstone on the fundamental turn that it matters, so you have to you get to play less of it and not actually have it be a detriment. We also have Goblin Engineer, a Goblin Welder impersonation that also comes with a built-in Entomb. So you get a you have a two mana goblin creature. It's a one, two. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for an artifact that costs less than three. Put it to your graveyard. For one red, you sacrifice an artifact, return an artifact three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So you're able to just search up the grindstone. All right. So you get to search up the grindstone. And then you get to play cards like Red Elemental Blast or Pyroblast. Let's see if I can zoom in on those. There we go. Pyroblast or Red Elemental Blast to destroy permanents or counter spells so you're really like a red combo deck that has some play to it it's not just all combo all the time you can act as a control deck in some matchups you'll notice here we have some lightning bolts maybe shoot some delvers down from the sky that sort of thing speaking of shooting things down we have two copies of main deck fury and twin shot sniper this deck has removal to it there's a ton of play Recently, we've added Fable of the Mirror Breaker to the deck, and by we, I mean people that work on Painter, not me. Uh, so you get an artifact out of the first chapter because you get a goblin that makes artifacts so you can weld out those treasure tokens. And the second mode, you get the loot, so you get to put cards to the graveyard to weld back in. And then in the third ability, you could even copy something like Painter Servant. It's just really, really sweet. That's pretty much how the deck functions in the sideboard. We have some combo hate cards like Leyline of the Void and this disgusting trash card, Magus of the Moon, Needle. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'd like to take a moment to thanks, thank Callum Smith for giving me a sideboard guide for this deck before I record today. So you'll even know how Callum sideboards in the matchups that I play, which is really, really nice of him. So I hope everyone enjoys this video. I can't promise that I'll replicate Callum's results, but I'll do the best that I can. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the first round. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Match number one with painter combo. We're on the play. I am so excited for this. So we have turn one painter, turn two grindstone, but this deck doesn't really have any way to accelerate. I guess we have Simeon Spirit Guide. I think I'm still supposed to just play it slow. Am I wrong? Hmm. I don't know if I'm supposed to lead on City or Painter, like City into Painter Servant, or just go like Land Grindstone. Opponent's on six cards. All right, and I'm not going to play the Saga here just because I think Sagas are backup plan. We can always beat people down with the giant constructs, and I don't want to be forced to make constructs before I'm actually looking to do so. Basic planes, okay. 
the sorts of plowshares is a concern. All right, well, drawing the blast was amazing there. So, servant on the stack. We will choose blue, so that way our red elemental blast can counter stuff. Pass the turn. No end step sorts to plowshares or solitude. Wasteland. That's not very nice. So it looks like they are in fact death and taxes. We'll take a draw. Another blast. Let's destroy your land. See how you like it. Oh, I have a basic plains. I'm immune to wasteland. But yeah, we'll take that. Hiya. Get in there. Pass the turn. Caracas. Okay. Draw. Fury. So now we have the ability to activate the grindstone, but we can't back it with the red elemental blast, which is kind of scary. Because we're we really want one more mana. Get in there. Pass the turn. Ganjo. Vile. Sure. We're looking for a land off the top rope. I'm not going to activate Grindstone here because I want the ability to protect my Painter Servant. Draw. We drew the City of Traitors. Pass the turn. Get in there. I guess I'm allowed to attack. So if I do it in their upkeep, they could have double swords. I, I don't think I'm going to play around that. Like, they probably bottom swords to plowshares against my username. So I'm going to activate the grindstone here, target the opponent. And our opponent concedes. Yes. Okay. Take that, death and taxes. All right, so Calum Cyborg Guide says we want one Needle, two Fury, and a Confluence. That would make sense based on what I'm seeing here. And then minus one SGL. What's an SGL? I'm not a doctor. Um, Soul Guide Lantern. Okay, that would make sense. Pyroblast and Red Elemental Blast. So we go down to a 2 2 split on those. Okay. You can clearly tell I've never played uh, Callum's List before. I've played Painter years ago, uh, a long, long, long time ago when I was a brand new archetype, but I haven't really touched it much since. When I was a younger kid, I was a lot more of a brewer. Uh, and once I sort of found Storm and my love for Storm, I sort of just focused on that for a long time. Game number two, we're on the draw this time. We do have Painter Servant Blast, which is obviously great, but we have no lands. I completely forgot this deck was running Mox Opal, by the way, so I guess it would have been more defensible to lead on the turn one Painter Servant. I'm glad we didn't, but it would have been fine. Let's take a mulligan here. This seems good to me. Keep bottom... The Saga? All right, let's see how this goes. Turn one Basic Planes, they pass. Welder. Okay. Kataki. I don't even have artifacts. What are you doing over there? Goblin Engineer. Yes, I would like to use its ability. We will put a Painter Servant directly to the graveyard. If our opponent taps out again, I believe I have a win. They play a third planes, okay. Recruiter of the Guard. What are you getting? With toughness to less, so they could grab Solitude here. If it's not Solitude, I'm going to try to win the game. Lion Sash. Well, I guess I will try to win. All right, so how we do this is it's pretty simple. We're going to hold priority, 
and activate this grindstone targeting the opponent. And then we're going to weld out the grindstone for Painter Servant. Look at me. I'm doing it. We'll name blue again. And now they deck themselves, unless they have a solitude. And our opponent concedes the game. Callum, I hope I've made you proud. Look at me now. 1 0. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. All right, we're back at it for the second match. We're on the play. Once again, we are playing Painter today. Um, so we have access to Grindstone. No real red source. I think this hand's a little bit risky. Let's ship it. Yikes. Mulligan. Okay, we can try this. I think we get rid of the Blast and the Soul Guide. Play the mountain past the turn. Volcanic. And you ponder. I would guess that they're on Delver, but I'm not actually sure. Us taking a mulligan to five certainly is not going to help that. Draw. Another copy of Painter Servant. Please don't daze me. Please do not daze me. Yes. Play the opal. Pass the turn. Brainstorm. What are you playing? Flooded Strand. Okay. Are you a control deck or are you Delver? A control deck. Another copy of Ponder. And now they're passing back. Draw. Fury. Let's play the Fable. Really? Force Pitching Fluster? Okay. A little surprised by that. Get in there. When it's at 18 life. My Painter has gone farming. Prismatic Vista. They still have four cards in hand. Okay, and a third copy of Ponder. Draw, Lightning Bolt. Guess we play the Painter again. That resolves, we'll say blue. Pass. Sure, Brainstorm happens. The Fairy Time Raveler, you got it. So I imagine they're going to bounce this. Yep. Draw. I think I'm supposed to play this. I'm not sure. Painter. Blue. I think I'm just going to pass the turn. So the reason I'm not going to Lightning Bolt the Teferi is if I draw another land, I can just hard cast the Fury and kill it, rather than wasting the Bolt. Ending. Unfortunate. Okay. Draw. Goblin Engineer. Dress down. Not very nice. Alright, I'm just going to kill the Tough. Pass the turn. Five lands. This likely... Okay, not what I was expecting. I was going to say likely means hard cast force, but I guess I'm just wrong. They pick up a th another copy of Swords to Plowshares. My Goblin Engineer has also gone farming. What about this one? Alright, so this one resolves. Let's put a Painter to our graveyard. Pass the turn. 
Narset takes down again, down to one counter. Finds another copy of Narset. They play a Prismatic Vista. Savine's Reclamation back the Teferi. They bounce the Goblin Engineer. Is this another Narset? Sure is. They find Force of Well. Draw. Exile Samine Spirit Guide. Let's try Fury. Kill both Planeswalkers. Goblin Engineer. Interesting. Do you not have a blue card? Grab the Grindstone. Savine's Reclamation. Okay. I guess that's why they didn't do it. Never mind. It's fine. All right, I've been buried. We're not going to win this game. My mulligan to five was just not good enough. Let's uh, try game two. So it says to add in two Fury. I don't know if I agree with... Like, Fury seemed terrible that entire game. I don't know if I agree with this. Wants me to take out mana. Should I trust Callum or should I assume that Callum's wrong here? Hmm. I guess we trust the expert. So we're going to board in two fury and the needle. Callum would never do me wrong. So if I lose this match, we're going to blame Callum. And if we win, it was all in the back of my tremendous play skill, right? That's how this works. On the play. Sure, we'll try it. All right, Tomb Painter. Blue Pass. Or actually, turn off auto yields. Ah, oh, too slow. I should have played out the pedal of the bluff having blast. Sword, or I'm sorry, Flooded Strand. Are they going to Swords May? Well, it feels like it. Yep. Bummer. Draw. Engineer. Yes, go grab another painter servant. Soul Guide Lantern. Triggers. Let's remove the swords. Hydroblast. Okay. I see we're going deep. Draw. Another engineer, how lovely. Yes, let's grab Grindstone. I'm just gonna draw a card here. Pass. Prismatic Ending, yep. Their deck has so much removal on it. Draw, Needle. I think we're going to name Teferi Time Raveler here. Okay. And I'm just going to pass. I don't really want to hard cast the Twin Shot Sniper. I don't think it's really worthwhile. They play Ponder. They did not shuffle with the Ponder. That's interesting. EE -E for one, sure. Draw Simian Spirit Guide. Let's bring the pain. Goodbye, Needle. I don't know if I agree with this board plan. Like, it just feels so bad that I'm stuck here with a bunch of removal in my hand. Yep. They have three cards. Hard cast the Twin Shot Sniper. Shoot the Teferi. Pass. Are we on Sniper Beats? Draw. Hiya. Cast the monkey. I am bringing the pain. 
Our opponent plays a Volcanic. Sure thing. Supreme Verdict? What? Blowout. They got me on the old classic two for one. I guess my twin shot killed the Teferi. It was really two for two. Draw. A lot of lands. Um, play the monkey. I believe we have Urza's Saga in our deck. I haven't drawn it, but uh, it seems like if I was forced to draw a land, that'd be the one I want. All right, so they have a perfect brainstorm with the fetch land. Draw. Pyro Blast. Get in there. Send them to 14. Shark Typhoon. For a 3 3 shark. Lightning Bolt. No one kills my monkey. We've already banned the other monkey out of the format. We only have one left. We need to protect it. Ending for three. Okay, Simeon, you did your job. Draw. Paint your servant. I don't believe this actually affects anything because I still choose the color when it enters. No? I believe I believed that I got to choose still. Okay, I guess that's a mistake on my part. Because it's not a trigger when it happens. It's just when it enters, much like Metal Image, but I guess Dress Down overrides that, which I didn't realize. And there's the Mentor. So, Calum said we needed to board in a million copies of Fury. We haven't drawn it. This would be a good spot for it. That son of a gun. Okay. They're going to get our land and our painter here. They still have two in hand. Draw. Fable. Okay, we will get a 2-2 two -two Goblin Shaman. I believe we only have one painter left in our deck. Yeah, we do. Snapcaster. I'm going to counter that. Or at least attempt to. All right, so now their monk will get larger. Two cards in hand. Savines on the Teferi, not very nice. We're just getting crushed. And now I'll take seven. I guess my out here is drawing fury. Draw for turn and then the fable triggers. Discard both of these. Um, does this do anything helpful? Play the apprentice. Okay. I could, I could play another fable, but then I'm dead on board. So I just have to hope that our opponent doesn't have any spells they can cast, I guess. Oh, we, they have the Savines in the graveyard. I'm just dead. Like, it doesn't even matter. All right, they got me. We are now one and one. I just got smushed here. Absolutely smushed. Round three coming up. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Okay, match three, we're on the draw. This hand seems fine, we'll try it out. I do need a way to find Painter Servant, but this hand's reasonable. We'll see how it goes. Island into Delver. Classic. Draw. Goblin Welder. It resolves. Yes. Delver Secrets triggers and flips to Ponder. They play a Brainstorm. They fetch. 
into ponder. Bobble and an attack for three will fall to 17 life. No big deal. I'd like to draw a not land if possible. We need something here. That is certainly something. Painter Servant. Here resolves. We will select blue. Pass the turn. Wasteland. Okay, now if they have a removal spell, they can kill the painter. Then I could weld back in the land. We'll take three down to 14. Okay, take the draw. Play Urza Saga. Grindstone. Force of Will. Okay. Oh. Okay, they decided to pitch Brainstorm instead. Get in there. Need to remind them every once in a while that I am the beatdown. Their Delver. Flips to Ponder. And we go to eight. We're in a weird spot here because we're dead to Bolt in multiple different ways. So I think we're supposed to not play around it any further. Oh, or our opponent's dead to Bolt. Or not having Bolt, I guess. So now the Saga triggers. Once again, we hold priority. Target them. Swap the Grindstone for Painter Servant. Easy peasy. Take that, Delver. We are up a game over the menace of the format. Callum says that the sideboarding here is minus one fury plus one lotus. Minus, minus one lotus petal plus one fury. Why are we not interested in more furies, though? This seems like a matchup where it'd be pretty good. I'm going to go against Callum's recommendation here. I'm going to board out the Soul Guy Lantern and bring in an extra fury. Sorry, Callum. Soul Guy Lantern seems kind of stinky. Yeah, this hand is very good. Keep. Volcanic Island. Dragon's Reach Channeler. Sure thing. Draw. Another Painter. Ouch. Don't daze me. Don't do it. Don't do it, especially if you wait this long to cast it. Disrespect. Okay. I do not have the Simeon Spear Guide. They wasteland my Ancient Tomb. That's just a jerk move. Okay. Pitch. Painter. Blue. Pass the turn. I have five cards in hand. Volcanic is back. That's just mean. Okay. I don't like this anymore. I'm going to 16. Draw. I'm just going to pass. Ouch. 15 life. They have four cards in hand. Play the land, pass the turn. Wasteland, four cards. We're at 14. Draw. I mean, it's going to be destroyed, but let's try to play the Fable here. Hey, it resolves, so I can loot away this Mox Opal. Big fan of that. Big, big, big fan. Lightning Bolt, my token. Jerk. Then they can Wasteland my Great Furnace. We'll take one going to 13. Okay, and now they do not waste me, which is interesting. I'm only going to discard the Opal. 
Pass the turn. Red mana. Delver Secrets, okay. I'll take one. City Traders. Fury pitching. The Apprentice? Three, one. How does it feel to get two for one? I guess it's a really a two for two. I shouldn't trash talk. Not a very good luck. All right. And they bolt my reflection a key. They have three cards in hand. Meltdown. Yep. Double waste. Draw. No point in playing this right now. Um, I think I'm just going to pass. Delver triggers. Does not flip. I'll take one going to 11. Interesting. They have two cards. Why would they play that untapped? Welder. Borrower, okay. Dover triggers and it flips the bolt. Pretty scary. And the festivities with bolt in hand. So if I take the hit here, I go to five. I'm sorry, I go to four. And then they have bolt. So I'd be dead to another bolt the rest of the game. I think I'm supposed to try to kill uh, these creatures. I'll go to seven. Draw. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do here, because like the bolt kills my fury. I can play the fury, but the lightning bolt just is a clean answer to it. Expressive iteration. They reveal a Delver, so now I have to kill the Delver. Draw. Hmm. Part of me wants to try to bait them out by playing the Simeon Spear guy, but I don't think they're foolish enough to bolt that. I'm going to wait. They fetch. They get the Sanctuary, which guarantees a trigger. They pick up iteration. I was dead to another lightning bolt. I should have seen that coming. Yep. Channeler. You got it. So now I'll go to four. I should just be dead here. Draw. All right, game three. I think I just resubmit. Our deck is fine. I just need to draw better. Maybe I waited too long on a couple of the Fury activations or casting a couple of the Furies. I'm not sure. I would like to be on the play. Uh, this hand is so risky. Come on, Callum. What are you doing to me here? I'm going to keep it, but I feel bad about this. Ancient Tomb, Servant. Blue, pass the turn. Wait, this is what I was worried about. No! Okay, probably getting punished here. Draw. Yep. Damn. Get in. My worst nightmares come to life. Volcanic. Channeler. Draw. Furnace. Attempt to bolt the channeler. Get in. They play a scalding turn and they're fetching immediately. 
Delver. And now they're attempting to bolt my painter. I'm going to try to counter this. Please don't punish me. Okay, we made it through. We have four cards in hand. Draw. Grindstone. Bolt the Delver. Get in there. No! All right, they got me. Ponder, yep. Bobble. Draw. Surgical's my painters. That hurts. This is going to be tough. All right, let's see what we can get. Yes. I think it's probably like the rise apprentice or something that's the turn now they have access to um mystic sanctuary getting back bolt i feel like uh our deck just doesn't grind that well maybe i'm not taking the right approach to the matchup but i've just been getting destroyed yeah and the Murktide region, fantastic. Need a red blast. Draw. Pass the turn. Go to eleven. Draw. Welder. Pass. So this attack will put me to four. Can't do anything about it. Draw. They have two cards. Weld out the grindstone for the apprentice. Just trying to make a chump locker here. Play another welder. They have two cards that are pausing on this. Is it forcible blue card? All right. We're dead to a lot of different cards here. They attack. We'll try to block with Earthopter. Delver Secrets. Okay. They still have two in hand. Draw. Welder number three. Get in for two. Weld in the grindstone. Well, out the grindstone. Actually, I should wait on that. Because if I do it at instant speed, I don't lose to... I guess I'd still lose to end the festivities. Goblin Welder number three. Am I being forced here? Okay. I'm not going to show them the Lotus Petal. Delver triggers. And I'm dead. Flips the lightning bolt. Swap the grindstone in the apprentice. This triggers. Attempt to move to blocks. Ooh. They let me. I guess I'm dead anyway to the Delver. I'm at one. And then they bolt me. Yep. All right. Unfortunately, we are now one and two. Kind of a bummer. Let's see if we can just win out. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match number four, we're on the draw. I'm going to keep this, see how it goes. Turn one, Scalding Tarn. Okay. Another Welder. Let's cast it. Welder resolves past the turn. 
planes. Are you just guy? Looks like I'm being hit by prismatic ending here. Yep. All right, these have uh, been kind of brutal uh, games so far. Let's see if we can come back from this one. I feel like we have the tools to do it. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. When it's on five cards at the moment, does this resolve? It does. So we will get a 2-2 Goblin Shaman and pass that turn. They play an island, two mana. Is this a Teferi? It feels like one. Three mana, and it is in fact a Teferi. Goodbye, Goblin Shaman token. They bounced the Fable, that's surprising. Okay. So we can just attack the Teferi with the Goblin. Get that Teferi out of here. Take another two damage, ouch. Play the Fable. Triggers, and play a Goblin Welder. Goblin theme deck. Land number four, Narset, sure. We find another Narset with the first one. I guess the downside here is that I can't use Fable to loot this turn. No. Sacri um, let's just float one, it's fine. My life total is plenty high. Fury. Kill the Narset. Move to combat and attack them for a whole bunch. Opponents have 15. Second white source. Do they have a sweeper? Nope, just the other Narset. Okay. They swords my fury. So mean. Ponder. Yep. And the opponent is immediately conceded. Weird. Okay. Uh, I'll take it, I guess. We want the Furies and the Needle. Take out one of these and a Spear Guide. Following Callum's Guide. Uh, am I supposed to keep the... Double Saga hand? I don't know. This this might be a questionable keep. Okay, draw. I was not expecting to flood like this. We we actually need this fable now. They're fetching. It's either Narset or Teferi. It is Teferi again. This time they bounce the token. So at least they get the loot this time. Discard two mountains. Lovely. I think we play Saga here. Just going to play the Welder. Pass the turn. They plus the Teferi. Swords on the Welder. They have five cards. All right, so now our Fable will transform into a reflection of Kiki Jiki. They're fetching. Swordsing the reflection. Sure. So if I played the Saga now, I think I'm going to wait one turn. Let's blast the Tef. They have five cards in hand. Narset. Not using the minus, that's interesting. Activate. So my first thought is they probably have dressed on, but if they had dressed on, they should minus this. And now we search. Part of me is like, should I just get Needle so they can't use the, t uh, the Narset? I think I'm just on beating them down with Constructs at the moment. 
I could play the painter, but I don't want to lose the dress down outright, so I'm just going to attack for four. So I made a mistake last turn. I should have played the Great Furnace, so that way this turn I could play the Urza Saga. Just poor sequencing. No excuses. Put a cast Brainstorm. It looks like they might have an ending here. And they go after a Construct token and not the Needle. Okay, I'm good with that. Two cards in hand. They fetch. Okay, Dazed and Doing on the stack. Yeah, we're getting dazed. That was the risk. But I still have a Saga. That was a lucky draw. Goblin Engineer. Okay. Yes. Grab the Painter Servant. I think we just keep on attacking them and ignore the Narset. They're casting Brainstorm here. One blue mana. Yep. Three mana. A Teferi. So now they can bounce our Construct token. Bouncing the Saga. Okay. Removing the Engineer. No respect to my Constructs. They shuffle off Ponder. Still six cards in hand. We're definitely uh, clinging to this game. We're, we're not out of it, but it's looking difficult. They did not shuffle with that Ponder. Draw. Replay Saga. Just keep attacking them. A plus to Fairy. Mystic Sanctuary. Okay. Swords to Plowshares. So they're going to kill my Construct. Three mana. You have another Teferi? Supreme Verdict. Okay. Draw. Another Engineer. Resolves. Yes. Let's go get Grindstone. Pass the turn. Three mana for an instant speed days and doing. Sure. Weird they didn't do that in my draw step. Very weird. But sure. They cast a ponder. Blessing to Fairy. And Step will make a construct, although it's going to get eaten by the known source to plowshares, I believe. Uh, unless the Days and Doing randomly shuffled, and it might have. Alright, let's make another construct here. Would I rather have a Soul Guide Lantern or. I think probably the Soul Guide. Remove the Days and Doing. Go to combat, construct at them, and the engineer at Teferi, because Teferi can answer a construct token if I don't deal it at least one. The Wandering Emperor. So they can kill my construct token. I think I'm just sort of out of this. They're fetching down to eight. Plane cycling the dragon. I think I'm just like priced into removing the dragon. They cast another brainstorm. I won't lie, this feels pretty miserable. Now Narset's back online. Prismatic ending. Sure thing. All right, I've seen enough. I'm ready to go to the next one. Well, let's click Submit. On the play, I feel like I might have gone wrong that game with choosing to get Needle over Grindstone midway through, but I'm not 
100% sure. All right. Needle. A force. Love it. Grindstone. Pass the turn. Tundra. Is this an ending? It is. Okay. Works for me. Saga. The real plan the whole time. One with five cards. Ponder is fine. I'll allow it. Does not shuffle. Draw. Need to draw an actual red source. Pass the turn. I guess I can get a uh, great furnace with the Urza Saga. Is this a Teferi? If so, we can Simeon Spirit Guide Blast Narset. Let's counter that. One has three cards. If they want to fight over this, have at it. Let's make a construct. Untap, draw. And I no longer need to get Greed Furnace. Lovely. Killing myself a whole bunch of damage with these Ancient Tombs. I think I'm just going to grab Grindstone here. Get in for three. Pass the turn. I'm not going to counterspell a ponder. I need to save this red blast for something like Teferi. They shuffle off ponder. There's their land. We'll counterspell that too. How does it feel having your things countered? And then they conceded! Wow. All right, so we've battled back. We're now two and two. One match left to go. I'm surprised that actually went like that. We were drawing another... Wow, back-to-back -back sagas. Okay, I think we were probably going to do just fine there. One match left. Let's see if we can finish with a positive record. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match five. I'd like to finish this with a positive record. Let's open up some nuts hands. Uh, I don't know about this one. Mulligan. Better. Better. Keep. Is it second grind? It's probably second grindstone. Servant. Go. We'll name blue. What are you playing? Please be something that doesn't interact with me whatsoever. That interacts. I specifically asked you not to interact with me. It was very specific. Draw. Welder. Grindstone. Mox Opal. Tap it for red. Goblin Welder. Hiya, I am the beatdown. So we know that they're a wasteland deck. Will we get any more information out of them? Oh, Delver. Okay. Draw. Saga. I think we just have them dead no matter what here. In their upkeep. Brainstone them. If they bolt in response, we can just weld it back in. And they concede. Just like we drew it up. Easy peasy. Delver stinks. Let's just get game two. Furies. Get rid of the Soul Guide Lantern. And I think the other card. I guess I can check the notes. I think it was Lotus Petal. It was Lotus Petal. A little surprised there isn't a board in Needle, because I feel like I lose the Needle a lot in this matchup. Like, I feel like this deck loses when you get Wastelanded. So I think I'm going to bring in the Needle. 
take out the hmm maybe that's why there's like nothing to take out maybe a fable fable just gets dazed well this is certainly a hand keep we just play volcanic island and pass we'll draw grindstone love to see that happen so now our best draw just became an ancient tumor city of traders because i could play painter and then surprise kill them with our simian spirit guides and who doesn't love a good surprise kill come on come on ancient tomb no dice let's still play the painter what's going on here brainstorm painter on the stack and they're going to force pitch and let's pyroblast painter green so you might be thinking why not name blue i'm the deck with a bunch of red blast in it as you saw in our previous matchup they have their own copies of Pyroblast, so let's just avoid those if we can. They did not fetch away their top card, which is interesting. Wasteland, okay. But I need to draw a land in order to win. They're fetching. Trop, okay, so they're not, is it? You're stifle not, huh? Okay. Land off the top rope, please. Draw. And now I'm being punished for not naming red. Oh jeez. Okay. Um I have to pass. They have two cards. I just need anything that makes a mana. No blocks. Come on, duck. There we go. Pass. See if they get greedy and try to kill it on my end step. And their upkeep. Pitch to the spirit guide. Target them. Am I being stifled? Dress down. I don't. Let's see how it works. Apparently, it still ducks them. Okay. And we finish with a positive record. So Callum, my suggestions. Uh, don't listen to me. That's number one. Never, ever listen to me. So don't do that. But in general, I felt like in the matches we lost, we weren't able to grind very well. Your, your sideboard has so much hate for a combo. I never faced it, but I think we want some sort of card advantage engine. I'm not sure what that would be. Like four Magus felt, also felt like a lot. I'd probably look for something in order to be able to grind just a little bit more. That's my honest suggestion. Take it or leave it. I don't really care. But uh, everyone, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this painter video. As always, though, keep storming. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. But also, follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.